Okay guys, so today we're having an unboxing video. Super excited about this because that's two turtles that I, I just can't get enough of. So we're not gonna we're gonna cut to the chase. Just unbox these guys and uh, see how they're doing. I took the address off for obvious reasons. All right. So, we go. Nice uh, insulation there, like little, I'm keeping the heat. This is probably yep, the receipt. All right, let's open this up. Well, I see a little bit of movement. Let's open up the smaller one. I think this is a smaller one. Look at this, they're tied in a sock. <laughs> okay, let's uh, untie from the top. And there's a heat pack. Oh. I believe. All right, there she is. Female Eastern box. Look at this girl. Looks real healthy. She has a little extra scoot right here. A little split scoot. It's, I don't mind, I think. Adds personality. But um, there's the female. And you can tell she's real active. We're gonna set her on this right here so she can warm up to room temperature. Camera's falling down again. Now the male, you guys know it's a male. Man, he's big, look at that. I think one of them peed because it's a little dank. I just need to get some knife on the Oh my gosh. Okay, we're back. I got a little bit started here. No, I saw pictures of the male and he looks like he's got some amazing colors on his shell and skin. We're gonna try to undo this guy here. And here we go. Ooh, he's big. Look at that guy's colors. See, look at it. Holy cow. Look at this dude's colors. The pictures, from the pictures I saw, I all I could see was like the top. I didn't know there was like this red flaring on, I'm getting the camera, red flaring in there on his side. Oh, he's also real big. This is a big box turtle. This is probably the biggest male I've ever had. But, um, yeah. Dang, this guy is. <laughs> this guy has some real nice colors, that's for sure. Still a little bit too cold from the go outside, but once it is warmed up, they will all be outdoors. So, there's them being unboxed. Okay, so now I'd just like to address the six of you that will show concern about the animals being shipped. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it once. Maybe 10 years ago, shipping animals would have been something a little risky. But by saying by shipping animals is animal cruelty and this and that, and I don't even know what other people are saying nowadays. There's always a heckler in every unboxing video. But nowadays, it's it's the norm. Conservation ship, zoos ship, breeder ship, private breeder ship, like Camp Kenan, he ships. The Bronx Zoo shipped him, I don't even remember, was it three Batagory Finnis? 
So, you know, that's like in a critically, I don't know if they're critically endangered, but they're definitely not common, that's for sure. But it's just the norm. Being, them being in a sock, <laughs> there's no problem with that. I mean, in the wild, they're under a log for days on the really hot days. And then in hibernation, they're just sitting there underground in their burrow for up to seven months. So, being, Turbo's over there and he's climbing around in the cover. So, being in that sock for less than a day is is no problem. They're, this is a, this was Turbo's enclosure, but now it's Turbo's. I named the male, I just got Tiki, and the female, I'm still thinking of a name. But this is the indoor box for enclosure right now, as you can see. But, um, hopefully in a month, it'll be warm enough where I can put them out into the big, the big box turtle pen. But until then, this will have to do. It is big enough to comfortably house three. Um, I have no worries about them. The only thing is, I'm a little concerned about the two males having arguments. I really don't think it should be a problem. And if it is, I'm more than happy than just to bring an enclosure out for a month. But I really don't think there'll be a problem. I'm gonna give you guys an HD in-depth look of them right when I'm done talking. I just wanted to address them, the, the hecklers about the shipping because there's always one in every unboxing video. But um, big shout out to the guy who shipped them to me. I got them off of kingsnake.com. Really great, I you know, the guy had great customer service. He was really helpful and I couldn't be more impressed. So glad I got them definitely blew me away i mean the male i saw the pictures of the male and i was like oh yeah you know that's really really colorful male but when i unboxed them i was like oh that is a male i mean that male this you guys remember torch the one i had this is just a bigger version of torch pretty much so yeah i mean he's he's out walking around there he is that's tiki and if you're wondering yes it's because of tiki torch so um yeah, this guy, definitely very, very happy to have him. So uh, let's introduce you guys, and then we're going to see what happens when we put Turbo back in there. So, um, yeah. Also guys, I probably should have said this earlier. The female is just five inches. I measured her, I busted out the tape measure. She's just five inches. And normally I would think to myself, it's a little small to be breeding and laying viable eggs. But I contacted someone I know who lives a few hours from me. He breeds Russian tortoises and Eastern box turtles. And I said, you know, I asked, you know, what's the minimum size for a good egg laying a good viable egg laying female. And he said he has a female that is just over four inches that lays a clutch of six viable eggs. And I was thinking, if his female that's just over four inches can lay six eggs, I'm sure now my five inch female could lay one or two. So I do think she is uh, big enough to lay eggs. I'm hoping to breed them. I am on the lookout for more basically any eastern box i come across i'm gonna buy any adult that is um I, since i do have two males um i'm not gonna be buying every male unless it's like a really good price but i'm on the lookout for females so if you guys find one for sale let me know but um let's see what let's see how turbo reacts so i'll be really interested to see how he reacts with the male but um let's get on to that question is where will turbo be hmm Probably under here. Oh, there he is. What are you doing? I guess he doesn't like snakes. Come here, buddy. All right, so here's Turbo. The mail I got, oh, probably a month ago, I'd say. But um, this was his enclosure, but now he's sharing it, so. Let's see what happens when he sees another of his kind. I don't know how long he's gone without seeing other Easterns, but. I do know for a fact, I put him in the wood turtle enclosure for just 
probably 15 minutes when I first got them, just enough to set up this enclosure. And he tried breeding with the red foot tortoise and the female Central American, so uh, maybe we'll get babies from, from Turbo and the female. But um, there's the male out on the bout. Let's uh, see what happens. All right. Turbo male and Kiki male. Let's see. Will there be combat? Because I really don't want to have to set up another enclosure. Oh, I think Tiki's getting a little bit defensive. I think Turbo is a little... I think he's a little confused. I don't know if he knows what to do. Yep, Tiki's getting... Probably because there's a female involved. Ooh, hey! Alright. We're going over here. Alright. Well, it looks like I'll be needing to set up another enclosure. But for right now... Turbo's in this little box, little timeout box. I waited a little bit. I took Turbo out, but then I put him back in just to see if maybe they would, I don't know, get over with it and then be fine. But they seem to be okay. And then Tiki came over and started fighting with him again. So, yeah. That is uh, unfortunate. I'm fine setting up another enclosure. Since it's only about a month until they'll be outside. But again, that's another enclosure to set up. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because this summer is going to be a wicked summer for shell reptiles. I have a whole lot of plans of putting in a pond. I'm setting up an entirely another enclosure. I got a stick filter for the, the big pond. So, um, stick around, come for the journey. I'm hoping to get 2,300 subscribers by the end of the year, and it looks like we're going to about to do that. So, like I said, thanks for watching. They are relaxing in the corner under this fern. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.